Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video and this time it is IC Station once again. So yeah, they contacted me and they asked me if they could send me module and I said yes. <laughs> uh, basically, um, I've been meaning to kind of do some more soldering projects and whatnot and I took a look at their site and I found um, they have a lot of uh, neat little soldering kits and I've done a few in the past but I wanted to do something that was a bit more complicated. Um, and so I found this guy, which is, it's a clock kit because I love clocks <laughs> and look at that. Oh my God. What have I gotten myself into? These are all so solder points. <laughs> I am a masochist when it comes to soldering. Oh my God. So yeah, this is a kit with like a million, uh, tiny 0603 surface mount, uh, LEDs. And I hope to God I get these in the right direction hopefully there's some marking or something that'll tell me because if i solder okay i'm not going to be stupid i'm not going to solder all of them and then figure out and realize like i did last time that i soldered them all backwards because i will cry i will this will literally make a grown man cry anyway um yeah it comes with everything that you would need uh guessing real-time clock chip uh cpu um a little battery holder for the uh clock as well as a serial um, shift registers to drive all the individual uh, segments. And a bunch of, oh geez, that's absolutely tiny. Yeah, that 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 is 0603, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, hopefully it's not 0402, that would be a pain. Uh, but, like a billion of those. So, um, we are going to, and yeah, little clock battery too, watch battery, that's nice. So yeah, this is going to be awesome to solder. So let's just look at the uh, this little paper manual in here, I guess. It has some uh, information. As well as, what is this? Uh, just a date, I guess, saying that it's it's been checked, that it has all the parts. So November 2017, I guess. So yeah, um, this is going to be awesome. Or it's going to be a nightmare. Um because soldering that many tiny little LEDs all in the correct orientation is going to be a pain. But, yeah, it's, uh, oh, good. The actual, oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I was dreading trying to figure out which direction the LED is going because you know they're going to be like multiplexed and, or charlieplexed or something weird like that. Okay, so they're all facing towards the right. So watch me still somehow screw it up. But anyway, uh, yeah, so it's supposed to go like this. And you can see it's basically, they're driven, so it's kind of like a dot matrix. You can see it looks like a two on this side. So yeah, um, so it can actually draw out the like uh, character graphics and whatnot. So yeah, that's going to be fun soldering that up. Um, other side does not look bad at all. This is actually a reasonably high density like board in terms of like all the tracking and whatnot. Um, Layout looks definitely reasonable. Whoever laid this out did a pretty good job, I'd say. It looks pretty nice. A lot of tiny vias, uh, as you'd expect. Only looks to be a two-layer board, though. But yeah, that'll definitely be fun uh, figuring out how to assemble this. This is more of a um, kind of like a puzzle. And the second part of the puzzle is um, putting together the case. It looks like it's a plastic case. Um, shh, don't tell anyone, but this is actually going to be a present for my, my father. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think he watches my channel anyway, so. So yeah, going to get this assembled and then gift this to him. Um, and that'll be cool, so thank you so much, IC Station. But we're not done yet, so let's actually, uh, I'll time-lapse the assembly of this for you. I'm not going to make you watch me solder a million LEDs in real time. So anyway... I can't wait, so let's get into it.
gonna let me uh, assembly line it and let's enjoy this. Hopefully, I'll put some music on. Okay, so I finished one digit, and I don't think I'm going to be able to film the entire process of me soldering everything, because it's like three, three or four hundred LEDs, so I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me solder them all, even sped up, and also my patience is going to get very low with the camera kind of over my shoulder in the way half the time. Anyway, let's see if this all works. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You can see all the LEDs that I have soldered so far work. So, great. <laughs> so now I'll get back to you guys after I've soldered everything. I'll be back in a second for you guys, but probably days for me. Okay, so I finally finished soldering this. So about each segment, especially these ones which have um, 6 by what was this, like 14 or something like that? Um, these guys took maybe about half an hour each, which actually isn't that bad when you think about it if you assembly line it. But the uh, the main problem was uh, keeping everything aligned, and then, yeah, it was a bit of a pain. So I definitely am kind of glad. I'm sorry I couldn't film the whole thing soldering. I did this over the course of two days, basically. And, um, yeah, it's all good to go. And every time I soldered a couple lines, I would, um, there's a self-test built into this, um, thankfully, that you can use to check to see if all the LEDs are working before you move on and solder more. So anyway, I can give you guys a quick demo. Uh, just, you know, a quick uh, overview. Um, the case is very nice. I like this. Um, fits together sort of like a puzzle, and it's fairly sturdy, actually. It's pretty thick um, plexiglass. Um, there was a bit chipped out I just used a little bit of glue that's not that big of a deal it's not very noticeable there are some holes here actually um, I'm guessing the idea was to poke um, the light sensor and the temperature sensor through the side actually this might be backwards uh, but it's not really necessary if you just have it poking out the back that's fine and as long as air can get in there that's fine and the USB jack is just here um, and the buttons fit perfectly. There's little holes for them. They uh, protrude through them. There's a little uh, screw post. You can actually hang this on the wall, which is pretty neat. Um, there is an included little tiny uh, watch cell for the RTC, so it keeps the time, which is nice. And we'll do a quick demo. I think there's a problem either with um, maybe some of my soldering, maybe there's cold joints, or maybe some of the chips uh, something is up with. Um, I'll show you in a second. There's actually an issue with the multiplexing. Um, so if we go and power this, so you can see the display here. Um, so if I press uh, this button here, the bottom one, it'll actually go through a self-test where it goes through all the vertical um, LEDs, well, the horizontal ones. And then it'll start scanning kind of this pattern, you can see some LEDs light up when um, they're not supposed to. And I think that's an issue. It's probably something with my soldering. Um, 
I'll go through later on my own time and debug that. And it shows up on certain digits. Um, other digits, it looks just fine, which is kind of odd, actually, if you think about it. But yeah, after this mode, it'll actually do a, um, a vertical scan. So all the way across. Okay, here you can see it's going through. There's no issues when it's doing this, um, oddly enough. So I'm thinking it might be, I don't know, one of the uh, drivers or something is a, a solder bridge. Uh, what, I, what I'm thinking of doing, this will just keep repeating on cycle. What I'm thinking of doing is um, putting a color filter. It's easy to see when it's kind of in a darkened room, but when it's too bright, it's uh, the contrast isn't enough between the background and this. Um, just you can kind of get a sense of that. So I'm thinking putting um, some kind of uh, the win window shader, uh, cling film or something like that over the illuminated area will help immensely with uh, increasing contrast because it is pretty bright actually. If you see it can illuminate quite well. Um, it, this is, um, the temperature is in Celsius only. It would have been nice to have been able to flip that to Fahrenheit, but that's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um, and it does seem to be fairly accurate. So additionally, this does, um, military time. So, uh, zero to 2300, uh, hours. So it would have been nice to have an option. I don't know if there is. You can see if I click the top button, I can cycle through the, setting the hours and minutes and then et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, as far as I can figure out, huh, now it's not doing that problem where it's lighting up random. Oh, no, you can kind of see barely. But yeah, before it was much worse, it's really weird. I wonder if me handling it, there's a solder blob or something like that on the backside, um, and I dislodged it because now it's not doing <laughs> the uh, random LEDs being lit up that it was doing before. That's really weird. Now it's working 100%. <laughs> so yeah, if you set this, yeah, now it seems to be working perfectly. If you press and hold, it'll cycle through a little faster. Okay, so yeah, that's really odd. It's it's actually fully working now. So yeah, it must have been there was a solder blob or something on the back there. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly. This is actually a very neat looking clock. Wish, like I said, I wish you could switch between uh, military and just um, um, you know zero to twelve o'clock, whatnot, just standard time. Uh, but other than that, plenty bright enough. Looks really cool. It was actually pretty fun to assemble as a kit. The backside was all easy. Um, definitely was a test of patience doing all these tiny little LEDs. These are 0603, and yeah, it looks really, really neat, actually. I like how it looks. I'm going to definitely put on that uh, window uh, cling film on there to make it a little darker, the uh, tinning film. Other than that, yeah, this seems to work a treat, and it's just powered off USB. I have it off of a power bank right now, and that looks really smart, actually. Uh, let me turn off the lights and uh, show you guys. And here we are with the lights off, and it is pretty bright. You can easily see this across a uh, fairly large room. So yeah, I really like the way that that looks. You can see the illumination there. So yeah, uh, once again, I'd like to thank IC Station for sending this over for me to uh, to torture myself with all the soldering all over. Um, I actually do really like soldering. It is pretty therapeutic, but when you're doing like the same thing over and over again, like thousands of times, it does kind of get a little bit, a little bit tedious. But anyway, yeah, this is actually a really cool kit. If I would, I would suggest this if you're comfortable with soldering surface mount parts. If not, you might not want to because it is pretty tough to get all these aligned. Um, does definitely take a lot of practice. But um, if you're comfortable with doing like medium size uh, surface mount parts then this is definitely doable if you're a beginner this is probably not the kit for you um it will make you want to go homicidal basically <laughs> just how many leds i i don't know i haven't counted obviously but i think this must be like 200 at least 
you know, maybe just under 200 LEDs, something like that. But anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.